one in history, be it an Olympian or any relay. Sensational stuff, and he followed it up, Dwight, with a 45.02 world-leading performance. And this is where we get a good chance to see maybe how fast this track is. He has run 45.02, a full second faster than the facilities record. He's starting in lane three, which would be a problem on a 200-meter track, but I don't think not nearly the problem here at Vanderbilt. Keep an eye on lane five also. While it should be the Curly Show, lane five is just an amazing talent from Jamaica, and he's run under 45 seconds as a Jamaican junior. It's Akeem Bloomfield from Auburn, and he's a tall drink of water out there, but Fred Curley is confident. He knows what he has run. He knows what he can run. He's gotten the pole position. He knows anything under 46 seconds is going to be, be the leading time, a facilities record, and get him easily into tomorrow's final. And he's doing a good job handling young Bloomfield from Auburn, but he's hanging in there. He's saying, you may beat me, but I'm going to be in that final. Don't ease. That's, he didn't ease up. I was looking at wow. Bloomfield. Wow. Wow is right. Okay, now there's an answer about, about this facility. Being on the track. Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. All right, folks. Debate this, over. This is as fast as uh, probably uh, Fayetteville. Uh, it, it may be a, a slight maybe, but maybe no maybe at all. Okay, so 44.94. He just obliterated the facilities record set less than a couple of seconds ago. Of 46.03, he just beat that record by 1.07, excuse me, 1.09 seconds. Akeem Bloomfield with a very solid 45.49. That's the second fastest time run today and was also more than a half second under the previous facilities record. And Dwight, you ready for this? We just watched the number one and number two fastest performers in the world this year at 400 meters and we saw it at the SEC Championships indoors. In a heat. In a heat. Right. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So if there was 